Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you a drill that we do that works on fundamentals and footwork, uh, especially out of a shot fake into go steps. And if you stick around, we'll show you some ball handling. So here you go, we're showing our shot fake into our initial go step right. So we really wanna be deliberate with our shot fakes. I mean, we tell our kids a cue is about one 1,000. Here we're gonna go also demonstrating to our left. So if you're gonna go left, you can do a straight rip crossover step or you can add that back step. Um, it's gonna depend on your player and what feels comfortable to, you know, to them. And then we will add a hard jab step crossover step at the end. So our first move is a go step to the right. So even if you're a left-handed player, we want you to work on that catch, good solid shot fake, slow it down coaches should be standing around really focusing on watching the footwork and then you know good hard one dribble players on the bottom should probably give each other a little bit more space and as I always say in any of these drills you can adjust them accordingly like if this doesn't look efficient to you that's fine um, adjust it uh, according to your team how many kids you have you may have more kids you may have less kids um, you may have more space, less space. So again, adjust it. Um, this is just a good drill for us to really get uh, footwork down, get them focused on a good shot fake into good rips. We want to avoid turnovers, avoid travels, things like that. So we are very, very... We use 10 chairs, but again, you could split kids up into baskets and do it differently. Our second move is going to be a go step to our left. So for your right-handed players, they're really going to need to focus on not traveling. So that's just a, a straight crossover rip, or some players like to take that step back. Um, for your left-handed players, this is going to be a little more easy. It's going to feel more free to them because it's just a straight go step. So again, you, here you see on the bottom, our right-handed players, one of them is just doing a straight rip, and then the others are taking that quick back step. Now you got to really watch that back step to make sure the kids don't travel. And as you can see, our players are being really, really slow and deliberate with their shot fake um, because, again, when you get into a game, you speed up, obviously, and, and just really want them to, to slow down, focus on the details and the fundamentals. Now our third move is going to add that jab step, so really selling that initial rip and then crossing over to the opposite side. So again, have your players really, really sell that jab and then a good efficient rip, hard one dribble, get through the chair. There's a lot of ways you can adjust this drill. We like to have our players on that last move attack into a finish. Sometimes we'll have a coach down there with a pad or, or something there to distract them or try to block them or even kind of give them some contact. So. Again, you can adjust this drill to, to the level of player that you have, or if you want to explode into a jump shot or some type of finishing, uh, you know, feel free to adjust. It's, it's just, a again, a, a good warm-up drill. This is a way to start practice for us to really get them down to the details of their footwork, really be fundamental. Now, if you stuck around, we're going to show you how we add some ball handling to this drill. Let's go. So, again, we're not reinventing the wheel here. Um, we're just going to add uh, some movement, some crossovers. Again, they got to explode into their move, get around that chair, be efficient with their dribbles, and then explode into a finishing move. You can adjust this. We do crossovers. Um, you'll see later we do behind the back. We do between the legs. Uh, we add a coach there at the end, so they have to make a move at the coach. As you see, some kids fumbling the ball. But again, a good way to... Get them warmed up, get them some ball handling, but get some movement. You can make it as hard as you want, as complicated as you want. We're going through the basics here between the legs. And you want them to stay low, have their eyes up, really focus on exploding to that next chair, being efficient with their dribbles. We use the term be efficient a lot. Now, behind the back dribble is one of my favorites, um, but again, it's it's probably one you see younger kids struggle with the most, and, and even into high school, you see some kids really struggle to be 
uh, good at it in terms of making a move and creating space. Um, but again, it's a, it's a good dribble to work on. You got to really focus on telling your players to keep their head up, their eyes up, not look down at the ball, stare at the ball as they're doing it and, and really use it to get into their next move. Now, the last one that we like to add is the, a really hard in and out. Uh, this can be a really effective move on a fast break or in transition as you're moving up the floor and you got a guy on his heels. You really want to sell it, make it look like a crossover. So you're planning that foot and making it looking like you uh, are going to cross over. And really all you need that defender to do is to, to shift his hips or to move uh, and, and you know fall for that initial fake and, and sell it with your eyes, sell it with your body, and then you're using that momentum to uh, you know get you going the opposite way. So we really work on right-handed and left-handed in and outs. It's an effective move, again, in transition and to really explode to that next chair. Okay, that wraps up our drill on uh, footwork and fundamentals and ball handling. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I try to drop videos um, with drills and, and anything basketball about weekly. If there's anything uh, that you want to see, please leave a comment. Uh, I try to reply to every comment. And again, if there's a way you can uh, make this drill more efficient, or if you got any ideas to improve this drill, leave those in the comments as well. I like to hear from you guys. Uh, again, I reply to every comment. And again, I appreciate your support. I just try to be a resource for you guys. Um, and, and to give you guys and you know ideas like I said you can take them you can adjust them uh, to your style your ability and, and the kids that you are working with so again um, really enjoy you guys tuning in and like I said like subscribe and I'll see you next time